What's up, everybody? It's the greatest A16 coming to you with another Call of Duty Advanced Warfare gameplay. Uh, this gameplay is, gameplay is some hardcore kill confirmed. Uh, since I got this gameplay, I figured I've given you guys my hard point uh, game mode tips. I really need to give you guys some domination, whether it be standard or hard or domination tips, seeing as that's the gameplay I play the most. Also need to show you guys my stats on those uh, as far as where I rank on the leaderboard. But uh, this was some good kill confirm gameplay that I got, so I figured I'd give you guys my kill confirm gameplay tips. Uh, so yeah, before we get into that, if you guys could just smash that like button. Uh, that that really helped me out and appreciate it. I'd appreciate it greatly if we could smash that like button. See if we could get to 10 likes on this uh, on this video of gameplay tips. Also, before I get into my tips, also uh, just a quick reminder. Uh, right now, I'm actually sitting at 45 subscribers, so I am five subscribers away from the 50. Once I get to 50, I'll be doing a giveaway. So if you guys want to sign up for that, just go ahead and subscribe if you like the content. And once I drop the video, all you gotta do is put a comment on the video and be an active subscriber. And you can possibly win $15 uh, on a gift card from me. Just a little token of my appreciation for everybody that subscribed and watched the videos and, and commented and talked to me uh, just on the info I've been giving out. Uh, so, yeah, let's go ahead and get into the gameplay tips. For Kill Confirm, this is what I do. Uh, like I said, it may not work for everybody, but this is kind of what I do. In this gameplay, I do go 34 and 4, and I, I believe I average pretty good just whenever I do play. Uh, you know kill confirm game mode so maybe some of these tips if not all of them maybe one or two of them can help uh, somebody out and that's what will make me happy the basics really I mean 100% basic doesn't get more basic than this is you want to get tags uh, I mean I really can't explain the importance of it other than it's just of course it's the gameplay mode but the more importance of it is because of the points and you know your streaks are actual point based as you guys see my streaks are coming up right now uh, I got the four that I mentioned in other videos I usually run with, the UAV with threat detection, system hack, assault drone, and warbird. Basically, you want to get tagged. don't matter. Blue, red, your teammates, your, yours, it, it don't matter. Get those cat, get those tags no matter what. Take your team's tags, uh, you know, save your team's tags, do whatever you got to do to rack those tags up. As you get your streaks, you'll do more than enough to pay them back as far as letting your teammates get your tags once your streaks are up so I mean that's just a way to repay the favor of you getting to your streaks initially but you want to get to your streaks as fast as possible and the best way to do that is by getting additional tags because if you try to go around and get 850 points worth of kills you never know you could die you could be with a teammate especially on hardcore you they might accidentally kill you, you never know second tip would be to set up uh, your max score streaks get all four streaks possible and as many computer operated as possible like I said I'm running the UAV with threat detection the system hack which disables the exosuits uh, extra time and assist is on both of those so that way each time a kill comes I get assist points which helps me get back to my streaks assault drone which is AI controlled it's on cloak and got rockets on it and also the warbird uh, which has got the AI control on it, uh, extra time on there. Those basically, like I said before, is what will help repay the favor back from taking your, your teammates' tags from the jump. Uh, when you got your Warbird going around and your Assault Drone, you can't you know, be directly with them at all times. But your teammates will go around, they'll get those tags and help them get to their score streaks if they're staying alive. Recognize your score streaks and know where to go uh, is a big thing on Kill Confirm. Of course, if you got uh, Assault Drone and a Warbird, those are going to be handling anything outside, so you know people are going to be going inside, trying to stay alive. Go inside buildings, try and get those gun fights, win those battles, get those tags, and keep going. That was a terrible kill. I just killed my teammate. I was all bad. I wasn't watching my back. But anyway, like I said, once again, recognize your score streaks and know where to go. Know where uh, traffic patterns are, traffic paths where people like to go. Like on this map, a lot of people like to stick to the sides. A lot of, a lot of people don't really go, you know, through the middle and through the buildings until you guys notice when my score streaks are up. That's probably when everybody was in because I was on the outside and I really get a lot of kills. I think my saw drone and warbird together might have got like four or five additional kills themselves. 
another thing is recognizing your guns so that way you can get these gun battles and, and win on kill confirm since everybody's running around really trying to get tags it isn't at there can be some campers but it's not really as much as team deathmatch allows you're gonna really have to go and run around how is that how did i get four hit markers without killing him with that but whatever you're gonna be wanting to run around good guns to run around with of course are smgs a lot of those are great run around guns with some of them have such a fire rate where the accuracy kind of diminishes long range and with this one having long sides on i mean long distances on the sides of the map i'd suggest the bow or the ak-12 those are good guns that you can still run around with especially with the lightweight perk or the asm1 or the kf5 and make sure you put that advanced rifling on there because you're going to want to be able to get that accuracy uh, with the ex with the distance with especially if you throw that foregrip on there uh, last tip but not least is to expect gunfights at every turn whenever you go into a building outside of a building looking left right try to have your gun up you know if even if you're not uh, you know aim down at least have your gun up ready to be able to at least shoot from the hip if at all possible I can't stress that enough is being prepared for any gunfights as soon as you make a turn because one of those gunfights is what's going to allow you to stay alive to keep your streaks which is going to allow you to get better points go 34 and 4 like your boy did here get ready to rack up this last kill get that deny tag and the kill confirm tag for a good win 65 54 we go 34 and 4 like i said uh, i think i captured maybe like 20 something tags or something. i'm not for sure but you guys will see here in a second uh, go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe. Until next time.